Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It's your girl, Bree. How you guys are doing? I come with a quick little message today, and my message to you guys are, they will lie and lie because they built a faulty foundation upon lies. But what they didn't expect was for the truth to come out. And they faulty foundation to be crumbling down. See, the Bible states that the truth shall set you free. And because these people could not tell the truth, they would either go to jail or prison, spiritual or physical, because they have been warned to tell the truth, the whole truth, and they didn't. So God had to deal with them accordingly for their disobedience. You see, um, someone will tell you that they are lied to you because they are saving you. No, they are lied to you because they are saving their self. Always tell the truth, no matter if you're going to get yourself in trouble or whatever, because it's karma and you have to pay the consequences for things that you do. If you did something to somebody to try to hurt or harm anyone, if you try to stop somebody, you try to belittle somebody, no matter what it is, tell your truth. How can us as grown adults, parents, grandparents, uncles, auntie, always tell our children to tell the truth, but we can't tell the truth about certain situations and circumstances. We lie, but we expect for our children to tell the truth. See, karma cycle goes, see, if you lie, you're creating a liar, but if you're speaking the truth, then your children will learn how to be truthful. People who connected to you will learn how to be truthful. So always speak the truth the, because the truth shall set you free. And a lot of people do not want to be set free. A lot of people like chaos. They like havoc. They like mess. They like to stay in the midst. They like to make other people miserable because their life is miserable. A lot of people do not want to heal their self. That's why they go around lying. A lot of people have the lying spirit upon them. A lot of people are compulsive liars. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are pathologic path pathological liars and that's just what it is we as people have to learn how to pray in a seed you know for what is what is hidden let it be revealed if someone around you is a line about something lord i ask that you reveal stuff to me you see a lot of people right now what is going on right now with a lot of people foundations are crumbling because of lies see you got to remember the first lie you told you heard me? My grandma always said, if you're going to tell a lie, you better remember that first lie you told because that first lie was going to get you caught up. See, and these people didn't realize that. These people just lied and lied and lied and lied, and they thought that they wasn't going to get caught up. See, but what they fell to realize is that they did get caught up. They got caught up in their lies. They got caught up uh, in deceit. Some people been deceiving people for over 10 years. Some people be deceiving people for over 10 months, 10 days, 10 weeks. You know what I'm saying? 10 minutes, 10 seconds, it doesn't matter. I don't know why the number 10 coming out, but somebody been deceiving some people, okay? But now the truth is being shown and our foundation is steady falling because it was built on a lie. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to make sure your foundation is solid that you are building on, okay? That you are standing on what you believe in and you're standing on your truth. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people don't want to stand on their truth. A lot of people don't want to be who they really are called to be a lot of people want to want other people to look at them as if they're high value high in society they're this and they're that only to recognize that there's a monster really deep down inside of them that will snake you every chance that you get see now people are seeing people's masses are falling off people's true attention on being showed to others of what they did how they did it and why did they do it you understand what I'm saying and when these people are being faced with and they're being questioned and they'll be asking hey did you do this and did you do that they're still lying instead of telling the truth but see god is revealing the truth of every hidden agenda that these people had every hidden agenda that these people had for you for your family for whoever you know what i'm saying is being revealed they are being stripped Okay, of the accolades, the uh, awards, all this that they have been given. They have been given many uh, uh, praises from different people. They are being stripped of this. And the reason why they are being stripped of this is because it was given to them on false prince pretense. It was given to them on false pretense. These people were fake. These people were phony. These people did not tell the truth. See, these people... They had to lie, slander, and try to shame someone else to get their glory, to get to the top. See, they didn't work for it to get to the top. They didn't work to get to the top. They did uh, stuff behind the scenes to get to the top, to get favor, to get all that. See, but you, 
Your favor comes from the Lord. The favor upon of the Lord is upon your life. You are very blessed, highly favored, okay? But they didn't know that. They didn't know that you were blessed. They didn't know that you were highly favored. They didn't know that you were God's chosen one because you didn't walk like it. You didn't talk like you wasn't doing praises in a synagogue. You wasn't all in the streets trying to let nobody know that, yeah, I'm for God. You wasn't doing all the rest of that. You didn't do none of that. You was just a normal person living a normal life. Well, what they say was normal. In other words, you looked at poor to them. That's how they look. They looked at you down because of what you didn't have, but they didn't know that you was filthy rich, spiritually rich, um, rich with knowledge, abundance. They didn't know that because you didn't look like it, because you didn't show what you had, because you wasn't a show ho. They didn't understand it. So the, what they started doing was telling lies on you. They started lying on how you was getting your money. They started lying on how you was having your house. They started lying. They started saying all the rest of this. And all the lies that they told about you, people are now seeing that's how they really are. People are now seeing that they're jealous. They're envious, they're strife, they're full of malice, they're, they're prostitutes, that they're broke, they're in financial constraint, that they're uh, hopeless and homeless, that, that they're not good parents, that they're not, they're, they're, they're not trustworthy. Everything that they lied and said about you, the lies are being redeemed. See, I keep telling people, you do not have to vindicate yourself. All you have to do is keep living because your character outweighs any lie, okay? I don't care if this person get to go to the White House and talk about you and say all kind of stuff about you. A lot of people may believe what that person say because those people are fools also. You see, but once God show up and he show out, and he let the truth be revealed. Them same people that was agreeing with that person, that was trying to tear you down with that person, it's going to be the same people that go clockwork and come back and be praising you, watching you, uh, supporting your business, supporting your ideas, want to help you in every which way because they have wronged you. You understand what I'm saying? They have wronged you by lies. See, that's why it's good for you to get to know someone for their self and not what nobody else say. Because people, I don't care how quiet valid they is, I don't care what kind of job they is, what kind of position they is, they be jealous of other people. They be jealous of the light you carry. They be jealous of your personality. They be jealous of the way people love you. They be jealous of the way you parent. They be jealous of the way you talk, of the way you walk. They just be cheer jealous because they have a jealous spirit and they good at lying and hiding it. All you got to do is sit back and pay attention and the snakes will always reveal who they really are in your life, the lies that they have told on you, and the people who believe the lies. If you sit back and you watch, you see, because the truth shall set you free. See, they lied on you to ruin your reputation, but you telling the truth and theirs is being exposed. And that's not what they like. So that's why I always tell people to tell the truth. Stand on your truth. Okay? Believe in you. If nobody else believes in you, believe in yourself. Believe in the power within you. It's okay to open your mouth and speak up and tell the truth on something you know that has been wrongfully done to you. Something you know is wrongfully being done to others. If you know something is going on wrongfully to people and you don't do anything about it, God is going to hold you accountable. Because you know the truth and you must speak the truth because you are the truth. Don't let these low vibrational people, these haters, these naysayers, these fake Jake friends, these fake family members, whoever it is, stop you from being true to you. Don't let the lies that people are saying about you, spreading about you, stop you from being true to you. Always be your true and authentic self, no matter who supports you, who stand with you or whatever, okay? Stop trying to fit in when you were born to stand out. Okay? Take your wife a stand and be true to you and speak your truth. It's your girl, Bree. I love you guys. Have a blessed and prosperous Thursday. And always remember that truth, that truth that sometimes we don't want to hear because it'll cut us. You heard me? That truth will cut you deep, but that truth going to set you free. Peace.